All right, what is growing on? So this is gonna be a little bit of a market garden update. I made my first video here a couple weeks ago and the garden looks way different, way better, way healthier, way more lush. Um, we're pulling that sweet potato bed today. That's gonna be getting planted here next. And after that, I think we're heading out to the front orchard and then over to the other property. So we have some expansion coming on this year. And guys, look at the difference in vibrancy out here. Plants are looking great. They've grown so much since the last video, it's really unbelievable. Salanova looks like a rainbow. Carrots are finally starting to pop. Nick's over here probably looking for some cucumbers. Let's see what, uh, what he's got growing on. I think there's probably about two rows left to plant. And this area will be maxed out until we harvest and start replanting. Look at all the vibrancy out here. Healthy soil equals healthy plants. Hey, you got any cucumbers? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. What? It's a little dirty, you're gonna wash it off. Eh. <laughs> Microbiome, eat the dirt. I think I'm gonna roll dirty here this morning. Dirt don't hurt. A little dirt don't hurt? No. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. You fed me a flower yesterday. That was really good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the nectar in the flowers. Flowers are a little sweeter. Oh. Oh man. Tastes just like a cucumber. I just messed that one up. Does taste just like a cucumber. Whoa. A little prickly, but. So Nick, things look a lot better out here since last time. What's what happened? What's the difference? Stuff grew. Stuff grew. Yeah. It woke up finally. It did. Yeah, a couple batches of compost tea and it really got it going. Found those locked up nutrients? Yeah. At okay. least made them available. And uh, yeah, but a lot has been direct seeded. This is uh, five different types of mustard greens. That'll be for like a spicy greens mix. Um, I don't know if this was in the last video, but it's bulb fennel with uh, interplanted uh, bunching onion. You said uh, fennel and bunching onions? Yeah. Yeah, they're really good companion plants like the bulb fennel lets enough light in so the bunching onion stays nice and green and like stout and you can get a lot of like there's i don't even know let's see there's probably 600 plants in that bed just in that single row yeah whoa yeah okay i mean if you want to count by plant there's about eight to ten bunching onion per bunch but anyways um, so then we go six by six? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, got Hawkeye turnips planted. Some. Uh, is that what's in this aisle? That's that bed, and then this is arugula. More arugula? Yeah. And then uh, that'll go in the mustard mix. This one in two days ago? Yeah. Yep. That's all Salanova. More Salanova. These two beds, I'm waiting to plant just because, as of right now, that's all I've got for space. So I'm just kind of dragging oh, my. Oh, that sounds like a problem, huh? It is a problem. I wish I did like three times this amount of garden. That's not what you wanted at first. I know, I know. I was hesitant because like everybody and their brothers like, oh, well, it's Florida. Like it's going to be so hard to grow. And I'm like, the whole time I felt like I'd be fine. But then I kind of let it get to my head. And I was like, oh, no, we'll, we'll just do a small garden this year, Pete. And now I'm biting my tongue. I now wish. he's ready for more. Yeah. Okay. Um, I threw some more bunching onion in between these larger lettuce heads. Most of this lettuce in the next two weeks is going to be cropped out for market. Uh, that'll give the bunching onion a little time to get more established. And then those trays of lettuce will actually fill this bed. It'll be lettuce back to back. And then the third planting will be something else. Lettuce is a pretty light feeder, so you can get away with it. Same thing will happen with that lettuce bed. Um, Switch tar, not too happy about, but it's doing all right get what we get out of it and maybe crop it out you've been complaining about that one i know i might just start it over some look good i'll get some for a good early harvest and then as it cools off a little more the next planting will be better there's three dud carrot beds um i ended up planting hawkeye turnips in this one in between the carrot rows so you can kind of see where i planted those yesterday um They'll come up. I planted them pretty thin. That way they don't overcrowd out the carrots. 
and then these two are just radishes. So they're, all three are pretty quick crops within 60 days. And uh, by then the carrots will be bulking up and taking over most of the bed. Um, anywhere where there's like a bare patch, like this purple kohlrabi that doesn't do too hot here, I just fill in with salanova. So I always start an extra tray of salanova and I always use it. Hawk choy's doing good. I think we're gonna take a lot of it and turn it into kimchi to do some value added products at market. The market called yesterday. They're pretty stoked to have me out there and really excited to hear that I was considering making like fermented canned goods for market. So, so speaking of market for local folks that are watching, people are gonna wonder where they can get their hands on this veg. Where are we gonna be? The Tasty Tuesday Market with Jim, so you can support both of us. And then and that's downtown Newport Richie downtown. At the library yep. from nine to one every Tuesday. Yep. Okay. And then. Um, the Wrights Market, which is the second and fourth Sunday of every month. So, second and fourth Sunday. And that's also Newport Ritchie, right? Pretty much right across the street. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So, Nick, we've been getting a ton of questions. Is this organic? How do you deal with bugs? What are you doing about pests? I mean, let's give some people some lowdown here. Um, For bugs and pretty much any problem, just like with people, it all depends on the health. Um, both the health of the plant and then the health of the soil. With me, a lot of people, okay, so a lot of people like to focus on their plants. They don't, the soil comes second to most people for some reason. For me, the soil comes first and then the soil takes care of the plant for me and it does a better job than I could do with growing a plant. So, it's like with the nutrient problem, from experience, I just knew a batch of my tea would really help bring the crops back around. But with pest problems, um, you can use certain biological pesticides. That's pretty much what it's considered. Uh, we had a caterpillar problem, so I put BT down, mix that with my compost tea, which has, there's some stuff in it that boosts the biology and uh, it's kind of like a natural steroid for biology. So I mixed the BT with that. That made the BT a little stronger, which one, killed the caterpillars, and like whatever living caterpillar was on the plant when it bit into the plant it died and then i also put kytosan in there and uh, kytosan comes from um, crustacean meal basically so when the building blocks of crustacean shells is chitin and uh, when the soil biology breaks that down it turns into chitinese or no it turns into kytosan then the plant absorbs it turns it into chitinese and then when the bug bites the plant that's nature's self-defense mechanism, and it excretes the uh, chitosan and or chitinase. Sorry, mixing myself up, and uh, kills the bug. So there's all these little biological um, weapons or tools that you can use in the garden to fight off the pests and let the plants do the work for you. You just have to know how to do it a little nice. bit, if that makes sense. I'm a little tired. Do you think you're getting any <laughs> benefit from? Um you know, all the diversity and pollinator oh, yeah. plants around here, that's also kind of helping, right? Uh, pollinators, yes. There's nothing in bloom aside from the cucumbers. Um, I guess I meant like the sweet almond, the firebush, the plants around the farm as far as bringing yeah. in diversity, you know? They're, yeah, I'm sure there is. Um, yeah, there's already a ton of bugs here. I mean, it's Florida. But having a more diverse ecosystem, everything just thrives better. Sure, you might get some pest problem, more pest problems than you would in any other kind of system, but nature has a way of balancing itself out and creating an environment for all the beneficials in the long run is really good. Nice. Yeah. I like it, man. Good. All right, little garden update. So yeah. come try the goodness. See you at market? Yeah, see me at market. All right, Nick. Keep up the good work. Okay. All right, so that was your garden update. Nick has been killing it out here. You gotta come to the local market. If you're here in Pasco, try some of this veg. I think you're gonna be pretty impressed. I'm gonna try to do bi-weekly garden updates. I know Nick's talking about doing garden updates weekly. So between the both of us, you guys will be able to stay tuned, see what's growing on here, see what's changing, see what our problems are, see what we're having success with, the whole nine. We're gonna share it all with you. So stay tuned, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Pound that bell to stay notified, most importantly, 
2022. Get outside and start yourself a garden. Pound dirt.